This is a Samsung 50 inch TV, which I've had for a while and has halfway decent sound. I don't have a sound bar, but I do have an analog receiver that I could use to drive some speakers. The problem is this Samsung only outputs digital audio via optical. So we went over to Best Buy and got an insignia digital optical or coaxial to analog converter. Let's hook it up. Inside the box, we have a power supply to drive the digital to analog converter. They include RCA cables that allow you to take the analog audio output to your receiver or stereo and a set of instructions. Now, unfortunately, on this TV, it's an optical output right in there, and they don't give you that cable. So you're going to have to go out and buy an optical cable for this to work. And with these cables, you have to remove the little cap, and then this should go right in there. and it'll probably only fit one way, like that. And then this other end, again, we take off the little cap, and that's gonna go right here. Okay, and now all we have to do is Plug in the power supply, and there's a switch here. We have to tell it whether it's coaxial, which is to the left side, or optical. We're going to be using the optical, so we'll flip over to that. Now, all we have to do is plug this in so this unit is energized. Then we're going to take the RCA cables, and you'll notice that one's red, one's white. Red is for right channel. White is for the left channel, and then we're going to plug the other two to our stereo or receiver. Just to recap, we've plugged in the optical cable to the back of the TV set connection and then into this device. We've plugged in the power supply. You should get an indicator light. We've set the switch for optical, not coaxial, because that would be a cable that would fit here. Then we take the output of this device that's going into the RCA audio cables, and we're feeding that to this old receiver. The RCA output jacks are plugged into either the AUX1 or AUX2, or if you have a really old stereo, it might say tape one or tape two whatever analog input is available. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna sample some audio using the speakers on the TV. It's not particularly bad. It's just a little flat and doesn't have a lot of dimension. So now let's hook up our analog to digital. And to do that, we need to go into settings, go down to sound. And if you don't have a Samsung, it'll be similar to this. Uh, we want to go to where do we want the speakers to output? No, we want the output coming from the optical. Then we close that window out. And then we need to go down to the expert settings because in there we go down to digital output audio format and this device does not accept Dolby Digital so we have to go with PCM. Select that and then we come back out to our file. We hit play on the file
and now you'll probably notice that there's a bigger stereo separation and it's just got a lot more dimension to it. And of course this will work with off-air TV, your streaming services, your cable. And the device that allows you to do this is the Insignia NS-HZ313. It's about $30. I think the unit's way overpriced. You can get other converters for about $15. So it may be something you want to consider for your TV, especially if you're not using a sound bar, but you happen to have a stereo system just laying around. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.